Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the Mad Max style single strand paracord bracelet. Okay, so let's head on over to the work table and take a look. To tie this Mad Max style single strand sliding paracord bracelet, you'll want to begin by cutting your paracord to length. For this bracelet, I'm using roughly 24 inches or 60 centimeters of paracord. Once you have your cord cut, melt the ends with your lighter. Please be careful initially, the melted paracord will be hot. Your paracord is cut, so now find the center. Now that you have your working line, the first thing you want to do is create a loop knot. To do this, take one working end and wrap it back around both standing parts approximately an inch from the end of your bite. And then do this again to complete two wraps. The knot we're tying is called a scaffold knot. From there, take the working end and pass it through the center of your two wraps as shown. Once you have the end through the wraps, carefully cinch up the knot. You want the knot to be snug, but don't over tighten it or it'll be difficult to adjust later on. Your knot will look something like this. From there, take both of your tail ends and pass them through the center of your scaffold loop knot. Once you have the ends through the loop knot, you can cinch up the knot. As you can see, when I now pull on the one standing end of paracord, the size of my loop knot tightens like a noose. Next, we want to gauge the size of the bracelet. Pass your hand through the loop and adjust the diameter. Now that we have the proper size, we can tie our stopper knot. There are a lot of different stopper knots and indeed a lot of different single strand paracord bracelets. I recommend my video, Six Easy Single Strand Paracord Bracelets for inspiration and a few options. The stopper knot we're going to use in this bracelet is another scaffold knot. Simply take one of your ends and like you did at the start, fold it back on itself and create two wraps. Then thread the working end through the center of your wraps and carefully cinch it up tight. As you can see, we now have an adjustable single strand paracord bracelet. We could be finished here, but let's tidy it up a little bit more. Just cut the ends of your paracord a few millimeters from your stopper knot with a pair of scissors and then melt the ends with your lighter. While the melted paracord is still hot, squish it flat with your scissors. Here's a close up of the knots tied. It's a nice, clean, simple look. With the bracelet now finished, you can see how it's easily adjustable. And as I've mentioned, there are actually many different ways to make a single strand paracord bracelet. If you'd like to see other ways, then I'd recommend you check out my video, Six Easy Single Strand Paracord Bracelets. I'll put a link in the description and also at the end of this video. All right, so there you have it. 
the Mad Max style single strand paracord bracelet. Now, as promised, here's a link to my other video, six easy single strand paracord bracelets. I hope you check it out. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching.